Hey, what's going on, everyone? We're going to go over uh, direct variation. Um, it's pretty simple, straightforward. We're going to just cut into it. Um, once you understand how to put the numbers in the right order and put the formula down, you're going to see that this is a very simple and easy concept, okay? So what we're going to go over is a, it's going to look a little different, but like I said, once we have a grasp on what we're doing, we're going to understand this section very simply. Okay, just remember the key concept of this section uh, for each order pair X and Y um, in a direct variation function, your formula is going to be Y equals K X, where K is the non-zero fixed number. K is called the constant of variation. Okay, and so what that means is this, your formula is going to look like so. You're going to all right, so you have y equals k x, okay, or k equals y over x, okay. This is the main focus right here. This is what we're going to use when we write out our problems, okay, that right there. That's what we're going to use. Okay, so let's get into it right now. Y equals 12 when X equals 3. All right, so we're going to try to find out K. We're just trying to solve mean for K at all times. All right, so we're going to put the numbers into this formula. So you can go ahead and just write it out. K equals 12 over 3. And then you just simply do your math. 12 divided by 3. It's four. And so K equals, uh, equals four. All right? All right, and then when you rewrite your problem, you would write down into the into the equation, all right? You would write down Y equals four, because it's K, because your equation is y equals k uh, x, okay? So then you have 4x. And this is your entire answer. All right, next one. y equals 21 when x equals 1.5. All right, let's put in our equation. 21, 1.5. All right, do your math. And your answer will come out to 14. Okay, then we gotta put it into the uh, correct equation y equals 14x. And there, excuse me, there is your entire answer. All right, lastly, we're gonna show direct variation or if it does not have direct variation okay and how you do that is you're basically going to use the set of numbers that are given and you're going to put it into the formula okay so we got three sets of numbers here all right we got one two three now if we were to graph this this is the x intercept this, i'm sorry this is the x point and this is the y point all right if you were to graph this you will just use this as your points okay However, we're trying to solve and trying to see if it shows direct variation or if it does not show direct variation. How what, is, what I'm trying to ask is what I'm trying to ask is that these all have to have the same answer. Okay, if there is a different answer in the group, it does not show direct variation. All right, so the first one we have k equals seventy-eight over six. The second one, we have K equals 169 over 13. And lastly, we have K equals 26 over two. Okay, and once we do all the division here, K 
Okay, find the answer for every single one of these. We're going to find out if all these are going to show direct variation or not. All right, just by looking at this, cutting this, reducing in half, we know that 23 divided by 2 is 13. If I was to go step by step here, we will see that 9 divided by 3, not 9 divided by 3, by three is three over one, so therefore it's this answer is going to be thirteen. So we have thirteen down here. We got thirteen right here, and seventy-eight divided by six is thirteen. So our answer for all three is thirteen, and the answer is yes. Okay, and that is how you do direct variation.